Okay, here's how a collaborative project using Google Docs might work. This is a Google drawing. Right now it's just a blank sheet, but it's been shared with 8th, 7th, and 8th grade students. They've been given the assignment that they need to come up with an idea for a new video for the school. The video has to include the perspective of current students. It's up to them to decide the structure of the video, what kind of shots are needed, what the video will look like. When we start out, you'll see that uh, some of the students playing around with the ability to make drawings, add things. I'm showing them some things on how to incorporate text. We have our first idea, which was suggested that a student catches a football, runs to the end zone, and then says, I'm going to Noble Academy. Be overly enthusiastic. Uh, other ideas, some teacher uh, comments, teachers are nicer, some comments about the school. We have some graphics being added. Some content is being removed. Students are, of course, discussing this while they're working on it. And so it's giving them an opportunity to say, hey, let's not use that or let's change that. Uh, some YouTube links are being posted. Oh, now we're starting to get creative. We've got some faces. I'm going to Noble Academy is still on the board. Space on the drawing has been widened so that there's now more space available. Quite a bit of work has gone in here. All right, other ideas have been posted. And then this idea, one person from each grade and have them announce their learning disabilities and say their feelings about the school and their favorite thing about Noble Academy. Now it's important not to focus too much on spelling. We want ideas to come very fast. We have some ideas here, learn and play in a safe environment, and we have some more playing with graphics. Now I don't know if it's because there was so much graphics involved in this particular idea here or just that it was a good idea that that became sort of the focus. You can see some additional ideas are put in. The idea of turning it into a documentary. We moved on to the next day and what we decided to do was to organize the information that we had come in and we started to move things around in two categories. So some of the ideas got moved into the video structure. We had some details and things that could eventually turn into interview questions. We had a category for videos to inspire us and then we had a category for visual elements. We had two students that were assigned to each of those categories to work together to come up with suggestions. Additional information being posted, some ideas, questions, some visual elements. Now, two ideas for the video structure, both the going from one person per grade and having the tour, a tour of the school with the interviews. You can see a whole lot of YouTube videos have been posted here. And what we did as a group was we watched those YouTube videos. We decided, did any of them look like videos that we think that we wanted to do? And now I step into the picture and we start removing some of the things, some of the things that we didn't like. We have removed a bunch of the YouTube videos and we focus on some of the things that we liked, like interviewing students in different places and then continuing the organization of all this structure to come up with a proposal that we could hand off to another class whose job it is to create the video. So uh, this is critical thinking, this is synthesis of information, and this is real world collaboration done with very uh, accessible tools that we have at our school um, and that can be used at other schools as well.